Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a few different potential resolutions to screen flickering or the screen appears to be blurry or for whatever reason it might be flickering on or off when you are playing games. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing here would be to go ahead and open up the star menu. Select the setting gear icon on the left side where you hover over it, it says settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Now that you're on the Windows settings page, go ahead and select the system tile. And then select the display on the left side. Now you want to go near the bottom of this page here, so where it says advanced display settings, go ahead and left click on that. Take note of whatever display is currently listed here, and you can minimize out of here. Open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best result, should go back with device manager listed right above control panel. So go ahead and left click on that. Expand the display adapter section to double click on it. Right click on it now and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select whichever one appears to be more specific. If you only have one option here, just go with it. But otherwise, you can see there's a basic display adapter as well as one that more fits our actual display adapter here. So we're going to go ahead and just select that one because it's more specific. And then select Next. Give it a moment here. Should say it has successfully updated your drivers. Select Close. Another thing we can try here, if we close out of here, and go back over the settings window we were in before, you can also just open up the star menu and type in settings or select the gear icon just to go back to this main page here. We're going to go ahead and select the ease of access tile. So scroll down, select ease of access. And now you want to select display on the left side, which it should automatically take you to. And you want to go locate related settings and select additional display settings. We want to make sure everything is set to recommended here. So if it's set to something else, make sure it's just set to recommended. It's not zoomed in too much or zoomed out. And make sure your screen resolution is also correct. So if it looks too boxy or it's too small, you may have to go ahead and adjust that. But generally speaking, recommended should be the recommended option that I would recommend. So I know there was a lot of recommends, but you know I think you guys got the point of it. And once that is done here, guys, you should be able to be good. You might want to select the detect button as well, but that shouldn't be necessary here. You may want to go back to advanced display settings by clicking on this and then select display adapter properties for display one or whatever display you're having the problem with, um, quite honestly. And you want to now select where it says monitor. Go ahead and left click on that. Click the drop down here. And if there's a greater value in Hertz, you want to go ahead and select that. And then you would go ahead and select apply and OK to save the change. So like I said, pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.